Hello there. Okay, today we're on chapter four, continuing on from chapter three. So as you recall, where we left off was where Chuck, Brenda, and Katie were going to get on a plane and fly out to the main coast for Chuck's job interview. So they did that. They arrived at the airport in Maine, uh, picked up their rental car that Alden had reserved for them. And then they drove to the sardine factory where they met Alden in the lobby. And as you recall, Alden is the gentleman that Chuck had been dealing with on the phone. So he had the interview with Alden. So they get to the sardine factory and Alden meets him in the lobby. He's an older man. He's like 80, long kind of gray beard, older gentleman. Um, so at first, Alden spent some time talking with the entire family, with Chuck, Katie, and Brenda. Going over again the benefits, the house, the salary, everything. Okay, so at this point, Brenda and Katie are satisfied with what they hear, and they're starting to get excited about this. So then they go out to the lobby and wait out there, and then Chuck has his interview with Alden. So they go to a back room at the starting factory and um, Alden starts, you know, jotting some information down, gives him some forms and stuff, but he's writing stuff down and Chuck notices that the notepad that he's writing down has a big A, B on it, on the top, you know, like initials. He didn't think anything more of that. Uh, so again, Alden goes over the salary again, the benefits again, and at that point, Chuck formally accepted the offer. So the next step was going to go view the house, the rental house that the family would live at while, as long as he's employed at the sardine factory. So uh, Alden drove in the same rental car as the family. They all went together so that Alden could guide him on where it is because it's not an easy place to find the house. Now the sardine factory is located on the coast, on the bottom near the water, and it's the building had been there for like 25 years and it's very weathered from the salt water. And so it looks a lot older than 25 years, but it's 25 years old. So they start driving to the house. And uh, Chuck, the family had never been in that part of Maine. I mean, Chuck grew up in Maine, in a nearby city, but not in that town. So he wasn't, a, he wasn't familiar with the roads there. So Alden's guiding him on which, you know, which road to take, how to get there. And they're going up a lot of windy roads and uh, narrow windy roads and there's a fog, so the roads are moist and there's a lot of trees without leaves, just a lot of branches and things and it's like a foresty area right by the ocean and you can hear the waves crashing the whole way there. Um, and it's very, very windy and lots of turns here and there. And finally, after about 20 minutes, they arrive on the road where the house is located. It's all the way at the end of the road um, it's on the left-hand side, and it's kind of where the road dead ends. And it's not, it, it's not like a residential area. It's a remote location, so it's just that house. So when Chuck pulls in to park, he has to you know, drive through a patch of dirt with all these branches down there, and he finds like a smooth section where it's good to park in front of the house, he stops there, they all get out of the car. And Chuck looks up at the house. Now the first thing, before he even thinks anything, he has like a, you know like when you take a picture, it's a flash, right? He has a flash, like he had seen that house somewhere before. He knew it was impossible, because he had never been there but he had this flash in his head. 
Then he just thought, oh, I probably saw it like maybe in a real estate magazine or something. Maybe it was for sale at one time or something. And then he didn't think anything more of it. So they all go up to the porch and um, Alden has a key. He opens the door, they all enter. And it's an old house. First of all, let me explain the house. On the outside, it's a white house. It's very old. The paint is peeling. So it's like a dirty kind of white because it's old um, and it's small. Probably no more than a thousand feet for a two-story house. It's a very, very like compact, old, two-story white house, wood house. So, so they all enter the house and the, and the floorboards are creaking because it's old. And when Brenda's standing in the doorway, she noticed at first, she just got this kind of like a chill sensation. Just for a second, just enough for her to notice it. But then she didn't think, it, she just probably thought it was cold in there because they're right by the coast and you can hear the ocean, the waves crashing from in, from in the house. So it was a nice location. So they all look around the house. Alden kind of just stands by the front door because, you know, he already knows all about the house. Um, so, you know, they're all kind of wandering around. Uh, Brenda and Katie are in the kitchen looking at the cabinets and things. And Chuck's wandering around looking at things. And, you know, Brenda went said to Chuck, you know, so, so what do you think? And all of a sudden it was like, Chuck had this weird kind of like a cocky attitude. I mean, he had this weird attitude that wasn't like him. Brenda just thought, what's your problem? What's your problem? What, what, what you know? Okay. So, so anyway, she just figured maybe he had a headache or something from the drive. So, you know, Brenda's talking to Katie, saying, hey, do you, here, you, this, do you want this? This is a nice room for you to have. And Katie's like, um, well, I don't know. Well, I guess, you know, kind of that thing going on there. Okay, so, and then Brenda's thinking, what's your problem? Everybody's in a crabby mood all of a sudden. So she just blew it off. Okay, so anyways, um, so they all meet Alden back down there and everybody says, yeah, the house is fine. So, okay, so, so Chuck already accepted the job offer. So now they're saying, yeah, the house is fine. So, and then Alden is like, so relieved, so relieved. Like pleased, excited. Oh, I'm so happy that you guys have, you, you're gonna live here. And then he's told them, well, you know, it's very important that you're you're moved in in three weeks because you need to you need to you need to be working over here. And he and Alden said that the sardine factory would pay for all of the moving expenses. They would have a mover come out there and pack everything up. That all they needed to do was give their notice with their landlord, and then just hop on the plane. Everything was paid for. Remember, he doesn't have to pay for anything, and the first three months of rent are free didn't have to pay for anything. And they would have their vehicles driven, somebody, you know, a company would move everything out there. Okay, so then, so that was settled. The job offer was accepted. They, they're they taking the house. So then they all left the house and then everybody's mood was back to normal in the car. So then the next thing, the next thing, the only thing left to do, they still had the rest of the day was to drop um, Alden back at the sardine factory. And then Chuck, uh, Brenda and Katie were gonna go exploring. They were gonna go exploring downtown. Okay, now, it's not really a downtown. It's, um, they're in an isolated area. So it's, it's really pretty much like a rundown seaside town but not even a full town it's like maybe there's a bank there there's a laundromat there there's a thrift store there and then there's like a little grocery store there and that's that's about it but that's their downtown okay 
So they were gonna drop Alden back at the sardine factory and they're gonna go downtown and just check out these places. So they drive Alden back to the sardine factory and then they're gonna go explore this downtown. And that's where I have to leave it here today. The next one will be chapter five. And my plan is to finish all this up by 10 chapters. I mean, it could drag on. It could drag on to over 30 chapters, but that's really too long because I have some other things that I have to do. So I'm gonna condense it and just talk about the important things that happen. So I plan to be done after chapter 10 but I will be back in a few days with chapter five when they go exploring downtown. I'll see you then. Bye.